Trondheim, Norway's third largest city. Some say it's the most beautiful one. Now I want to give you a guide to this city, and I want to do it from a motorhomer's point of view. Now when it comes to motorhome parking here in Trondheim, there are not many options, but the two options that are here are very good. Now the first one I want to show you is this one. This is a lot of motorhome parking. It's where we are parked. And it's the smallest one of the two, and it's also the one that is farthest from downtown Trondheim. Now here at Lada, this one takes 17 motorhomes. But unlike the one down at um, Dura, that's the one down in downtown Trondheim, that takes 80, but there are only um, about 30 uh, places that has uh, well, the ability to get power. So let me get this straight. You're paying for power down at uh, Dura, but you're only 30 of you get power. But here in Lada, there are a power point for every plot. Uh, let me let me show you. So here you have uh, Lada boardroom parking. There are no toilets in the shower here, but you have your uh, possibility for uh, refilling fresh water, emptying of black and grey water. There are a big bin here where you can empty your trash. And uh, the payments method is uh, you can either go with the app or you can uh, use your credit card in this machine uh, right here. Now most of the pitches are quite level, but there are some of the pitches that need uh, shocks or if you have the luxury of putting down your hydraulic legs. It's also worth mentioning that uh, the railway line crosses, uh, as you can see here, uh, just next to the motorhome parking. And at night it's um, quite heavy and uh, trafficated by quite noisy freight trains. So if you are a light sleeper, perhaps you're better off at the one uh, down at Dura. Also worth mentioning, just right next to the motorhome parking, you will find uh, one of Trondheim's biggest shopping mall, City Lada. Now let's take you down to Dura motorhome parking. Now as we said, uh, Dura motorhome parking is uh, a little bit bigger with its 80 uh, places. And the location to downtown Trondheim uh, is uh, much closer. As you can see here, it's located straight uh, on the harbor. It should be worth mentioning also that um, the railway line crosses just next to the motorhome parking here. But when the train passes here, they have a much slower speed, so, so the noise level isn't that uh, high as it is up in uh, Lada. Also, the track that goes closest to the motorhome parking is uh, just a side track, and it's not in use very often. So if you want the most quiet uh, places away from the railway line uh, some plots near the entrance will be my top bet for you otherwise price wise there is the same price uh, here as it is in Lada also you have the same uh, services uh, black water grey water and fresh water but as we said there are only uh, 30 power outlets and about 80 plots but due to the proximity to downtown Trondheim uh, this is the one that is uh, definitely most popular of the two. And it's not uncommon to find this uh, motorhome parking uh, being full, especially in the high seasons. Now when it comes to uh, park for night or free camping or wild camping here in Trondheim, I'm afraid there is not uh, many places or if any places I would recommend. There used to be some places uh, we used to use, but uh, they are all now uh, become um, restriction on parking. Uh, due to overuse and misuse. So I can't, uh, in my good conscience, uh, recommend uh, any places. Uh, though I see on the app Park for Night, there are many places uh, still that are open, especially uh, up in uh, Biosen. But uh, yeah, you have to figure that out for yourself. Sorry. But some tips for things to see and do in Trondheim, I will give you. And here is my uh, top five tips for uh, First time visitors to Trondheim. Number one, visit Tiholstorne in Trondheim. Now Tiholstorne is this uh, telecommunication tower that is uh, located in Tiholt. Tiholt being sort of in the middle of the town uh, in Trondheim. And the tower is placed on a little um, hillside, which means that you get a wonderful 360 degrees view over the whole city from an altitude of 234 meters above sea level. 
Now at the first floor at the towel you will find an observation deck. But it's at the second floor that I really would recommend you to go and visit is the restaurant Egon. Pretty good food here and the prices are not uh, that bad. And the whole restaurant rotates um, 360 degrees. Uh, it takes one hour to reach a whole circle. So what we did here, we come uh, just before sunset and uh, enjoy the sunset uh, over Trondheim uh, while we're having a nice dinner, which is something I really would recommend. And now, the tasting. Mm. Tastes better with the view. Second, a recommendation. This one is particularly good if the weather is bad. Now, Trondheim can proudly boast of having Norway's biggest indoor water park. And if you ask me, I would definitely say this is also the best water park uh, you will find in all of Norway. And it has something for offer for every age group. Number three, the Nidaros Cathedral, or the Nidaros Dom Church, as uh, is more commonly known as here in Norway. Uh, this is Norway's most uh, central and important church and has been so for uh, almost a thousand years. And the church being that old of course has a lot of history but just uh, looking at the architecture in itself is uh, just uh, well worth a visit in itself. Number four, Munkholmen or Monk Island. Uh, this island is really steeped in history. It started out as a monastery and is today Norway's oldest monastery. And then it uh, became a prison and a place for execution and a fortress. And again, during the World War II, also a prison. Now this island is steep in history and a lot of myths are going on on that island. So it's definitely worth a visit. It's located just out in a fjord north of Trondheim. In order to get out to Munkholmen, you need to take a short boat road out from Munkigata in downtown Trondheim uh, out to the island. Number five. Have a visit to the old uh, town bridge here in Trondheim and do a city walk uh, in the part they call Baklana. Now here in Baklana you will find some old uh, harbor um, houses that are located beautifully along uh, the Nidalva River. Incidentally, it's uh, the only place also in Norway you will find um, a bicycle lift. It's, uh, what you see here, uh, it's you put your foot on um, this little device here, and a little um, metal uh, thing come and support your foot, and it will shove you up a very steep hill. So there you have it, the five uh, tips uh, I want to give you for first-time visitors to Trondheim. Of course, there are a lot of other things to do here. Um, and maybe I should leave you with just uh, one more little tip. Because when you're parked down at Dua Modron Parking, the big building you see just next to the uh, parking place here is an old World War II submarine bunker. And there are not many of the left of this standing uh, today. But underneath um, this uh, modern roof here, it's, uh, it's a big bunker the Germans built during the war. And you can see here they're starting to do some demolitions on them, uh, but over the time they decided there was too much work to tear down these uh, bunkers, and so they put them into use instead. And also I would like to mention um, Trondheim still has uh, an old-fashioned tram. There's only one line left now, and it's the line that goes up to Biosen. And it's a very scenic ride. It um, goes along the hillside uh, with a beautiful view. And it doesn't follow the street all the way. Sometimes it's uh, follow just the terrain behind gardens and lovely houses. And uh, yeah, just taking the tram is uh, just worth a trip in itself. All right, folks. And that's my little guide to Trondheim. Hope you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.